Hey guys, Fishmonger here. Today is September 19th, 2019. That's a lot of nines in the date. Um, they say some things are done better late than never. And in this case, I was supposed to get a new version of Fishmonger up last week. Got it delayed a little bit, but I'd like to say proudly that today it is up and available for download on my website, wowfishmonger.weebly.com. Before we get forward with the video, quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Aperture Science and Tech and their Smart Eco VCM modules. Do you own a Honda Pilot, Accord, Odyssey, or Ridgeline? Your V6 engine was likely part of a class action lawsuit involving the Variable Cylinder Management, or VCM, system from Honda. VCM will temporarily disable some of the cylinders while driving, crippling your car's performance and leaving you with a 5, 4, or even 3 cylinder engine. The constant cycling of the cylinders can lead to excessive oil consumption, foul spark plugs, and an annoying engine shutter. The AST Smart Eco VCM modules plug into your engine and help keep the VCM from engaging, keeping your car running on all six cylinders and providing a whole new driving experience. Links are in the description below. Really, Stella? This version of Fishmonger has a couple of small changes under the hood. Uh, mainly the ability to add bait for Classic WoW is now up and running, which I know is important for a lot of people. Fishing in Classic WoW like really does suck, and bait is an important tool for that. And then also I was able to fix some of the GUI scaling errors that I had for people who were running monitors greater than 1080p. Unfortunately, in order to make this work, I had to disable some of the scaling I was trying to do. Something I'll work on later on down the road. In the meantime, at least I've got rid of the errors that pop up for people, which I think is the most important thing. Just make sure you stay subscribed. You can hit that little subscribe button down below below and that little bell icon to get notified for any new videos I update. That way you can see when the latest versions are released. I actually do have a Twitter account, which nobody really follows me on, so I, I don't really bother posting much on there, and a Facebook account also, which I mainly use for Marketplace, so I don't really put much stuff on there either. So YouTube is really the best way to check out my latest information. So up on my website, uh, wowfishmonger.weebly.com, I got a little link on the screen here for you. Um, you can see uh, I've got a little button here for pricing and download. You click on this, it's going to show you the new download link for the version 2.034, which I have named Donkey Buster. Why Donkey Buster, you may ask? I don't really know. I just like coming up with dumb names for files. I was Math Blaster before, now I'm Donkey Buster. God only knows what the next thing is going to be. First time you run Fishmonger, you're going to get welcome with a setup wizard. You're going to want to make sure you just click Next here. Uh, it's going to tell you where the program is going to be installed. And then it's also going to give you a user ID that you can send to me if you want to actually try out the free version for 10 days. And by free version, I mean full version because the version is always free, but the full version is the 10 day trial. So I got the latest version 2.034 of Donkey Buster installed, which is actually known as Fishmonger. I'm going to run this as administrator again and going to get greeted with a nice main screen of the latest version. It kind of looks pretty much like the old version. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that was changed was under the hood. Nothing really mainly changed on the main screen here. A couple of notable changes. Um, if you come into the advanced options here, you are going to see the ability to choose different kinds of fishing lures, and these fishing lures are available for Classic WoW. Um, and just to reiterate, in order to enable Classic WoW fishing mode, uh, you want to click on the miscellaneous uh, tab here and click on WoW Classic right on the top. I have a whole video uh, that explains how to do the setup on that. Uh, the link will be in the description below, probably also on the screen if I know how to do YouTube properly. And also I'm going to have some more detailed help files available on my website soon once I finish them. You can always get your user ID by clicking on the button here It says get full version. When you do that, you're going to have a user ID right here. All you have to do is copy, paste, in an email, send it to me, say, hey, this is my user ID, I want to get the 10-day trial, shoot it over to me, boom, I'll hit you up with the code that you need, it's going to be an unlock code, pop it right in here, just click submit afterwards, you'll get 10 days for free. Afterwards, if you want to continue your subscription, I'm going to give you some subscription codes after payments made, you want to click here and basically enter the three codes I give you into the three little boxes, hit subscription submit, and you're fishing with Fishmonger. So easiest way to get in touch with me, uh, emails, wowfishmonger at yahoo.com uh, for any questions you may have. Please always make sure you check my YouTube videos. I really do try to have Q&As up or helpful videos that really do show answers to the most common questions. Because believe me, there's a lot of people using Fishmonger and a lot of people seem, seem to have the same issues when it comes to setting up Fishmonger. Chances are I've got a video to help you out. So that about does it for this one. Um, I got to go kill some boars in Azeroth. Um, I logged out in Westfall and they are just calling my name right now. So until the next time, this is Fishmonger signing out. Catch you on the flip side.